now it is bike to work week and it can be a healthy, environmentally friendly way to get around. But without the proper infrastructure in place, it can also be dangerous. Thanks for joining us. I'm Julie Bragg and I'm Bill Fitzgerald. As our Jake Burns explains, there are efforts underway right now in Richmond and around Central Virginia to make biking safer for everyone. Sometimes it's just exciting to see the, the new and exciting ways that bicycles find to break themselves. Just one reason Joe Alford calls his job the coolest. It's not just a toy, it's a legitimate means of transportation. The owner of Recycles Richmond on Cary Street says he's seen a definite shift in how cyclists are treated on the region's roadways. Between now and 10 years ago or even five years ago, drivers are more aware and they're, and they're looking for cyclists more. Since 2013, bike walk RV says dedicated bike lane miles in and around Richmond have tripled. Still, they say accidents and fatalities involving someone on a bike have also gone up. Our streets are not just for vehicle movement, they're for the movement of people. The and group's director, Luis Lockett Gordon, system. says the feeling of safety on the road is one of the biggest obstacles they face. That's the difference um, uh, between getting folks who are interested but concerned, which is basically 50% of our population, from actually doing the thing and getting on a bike and biking somewhere. We met Lockett Gordon on Commerce Road in South Richmond. Yeah, so this is part of the fall line um, alignment. The fall line trail will be a 43-mile multi-use path stretching through counties and cities from Ashland to Petersburg. When I look at this corridor, I think about the potential for um, what we see on the low-line section of the Virginia Capitol Trail, introducing that green space. Projects like it represent the next step, according to Lockheed Gordon, rethinking the region's roads to benefit multimodal transportation. The climate impact, um, the health impact, um, certainly the economic uh, boost that we've seen. So we're adjusting the spoke tension to bring the wheel into true. Back at Recycle, Alfred thinks more people would ride with more lanes, better driver education, and of course, a finely tuned tool. It's an awesome and exciting and joyful thing, but it's a, at the root, for us, it's a utilitarian thing that, you know, that, that can take you places, whether it's on some cool adventures or just, just to work. The state is celebrating Bike to Work Week right now with many cities and counties holding events on Friday. Lockett Gordon says this region is waiting until later in the year to celebrate because of the pandemic, but she says any day is a good day to talk biking needs in the region. 